My name is Dave Eaton. I'm a faculty member at the LBJ School of Public Affairs. I am speaking today about a recent publication from nine graduate students at the LBJ School and also at UT Austin. Uh, I was the editor of the report. It's entitled Community, Wealth, Creation, and Conservation. It's a, an analysis of opportunities and challenges for the Van Gujar and other forest dependent communities. What I will do is first discuss what the report does and then describe why it is a valuable research contribution. The origin of this project has to do with the Van Gujar. Around the world, the nomadic life is on the decline. The Van Gujar tribe, as an example, historically migrated uh, between the Shivalik hills in the winter to the summer grazing areas in the Himalayas with their herd of water buffalo. Policies designed to preserve key wildlife habitat conflicted with the traditional livelihoods of these and other forest dwelling people like the Van Gujar. Over time, the practice of seasonal migration has been made unsustainable due to restricted access by Himalayan communities concerned with livestock overgrazing, increased land under protection, and the privatizing of land along migration routes. These challenges have prompted efforts to locate a strategy to relocate and resettle the Van Gujar and other forest dwelling people around Uttarakhand, the state in which the study occurred, but also throughout India. The report outlines challenges for resettlement and wealth creation strategies for the Van Gujar. It was developed as a framework for the Wildlife Institute of India and other stakeholders to examine options for a way ahead for the Van Gujar tribe in Uttarakhand. The research incorporates data collected from fieldwork in Uttarakhand in March 2019, including interviews with Van Gujar families and heads of households living either inside protected areas and also in a settled village of Gendi Kata. The report includes results from interviews of key stakeholders, discussion of alternative wildlife conservation policies, and possible sustainable wealth creation opportunities for the Van Gujar. The findings conclude that there are immediate short-term needs that the Van Gujar have, including primary education, access to health care and services, legal status, partnerships to include, to increase the value of traditional livelihoods. There also are difficulties of access to health, health care, to water, to energy, and employment opportunities. There are promising long-term wealth creation opportunities for the Van Gujar in both forest management and ecotourism. These opportunities aligned with Indian conservation goals and integrate and work well with the Van Gujar skills, attitudes, and cultural preferences. Van Gujar communities possess unique skills and strong traditional knowledge of the forest which can be uh, integrated to contribute to conservation goals through proper education, vocational training, mentorship, access to cas capital, and institutional support. The proposal developed 15 policy recommendations and wealth creation opportunities. And these, uh, these recommendations were made to the uh, Wildlife Institute of India. Why is this research valuable? Well, this is unusual in that it, the research interviewed 
families, Van Gujar families, and discuss with them their circumstances, their challenges, and what their own preferences were to potential employment opportunities. Uh, this was done in conjunction with the Wildlife Institute of India. And so all the recommendations in effect are integrated into what are reasonable options for implementation with the Van Gujar in some of the areas in which they live, for example, in the Rajaji National uh, Tiger Reserve area and other nature reserves. Thank you very much.